Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with a Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got a few items to share with you today from DIY Choose. Uh, they were kind enough to let me pick some paintings to show you all because there are so many out there. It is unreal. Um, so hopefully this will give you the insight into a few of them in case they take your fancy. So I think they're all 30 by 40 today. Um, so this is a gorgeous sort of, I don't know, this, this one reminds me of um, Superman's home. I, th I don't think that's what it is at all. But um, yeah, like looking out, view of the earth or the moon or other planets i just i just liked it so it's a 30 by 40 with poured glue it is actually 35 centimeters by 25 centimeters for the drill area it is around it has 21 different colors and it does just use letters for the symbols so the symbols on it are really clear even when we get to quite a few different symbols down here. Um, so that, it has a toolkit, boat wax pen, and some baggies. And then this is actually, comes with the little packets of diamonds. I didn't think it was gonna come with those, but it does. So each of these little packets holds about 200 diamonds. So some of them, we only get one packet of. Whereas some others, like eight, two, three, we get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 packets of. So obviously that color is a little bit more prominent. That is actually the letter B. So that is all this here, some here, and some all the way through here as well. So quite a lot. Uh, the other colors we get, we get quite a bit of, Three eight six five. Then we have some burgundies, a couple of a few different shades, some peaches, of course, quite a few different blues and greys for this one in various different quantities. We already also get quite a bit of purple. So as well as all those blues, the purple is scattered in up here to get that sky effect. So yeah, I didn't expect that to come with little baggy ones, but as long as the diamonds are there and they can go on the paper, then that will make it work, will it not? But I do need to make sure that I put them all back in and keep it with this painting because it doesn't have a reference number on the packets. Um, so I need to make sure that I keep it with that. So that is number one. Number two is also, I'm pretty sure, a 30 by 40. It is, it is this gorgeous horse. Now this one comes different. So we've got this horse with the most amazing mane. Uh, it has 20 colours and again it is round and the diamond painting area is 25 by 35 same as this one uh, it comes with a tool basic toolkit but no baggies but then the diamonds do come in bags so they are your colors look at that gorgeous teal and the pink and that other pink they're going to look lovely together in that mane and then it's more this burnt red color that is that shows up as sort of orangey it is those two colors that make up the orange tints and of course we have his nose which is different colors and the sky but it's those colors that jump out to me the turquoise and that gorgeous sort of hot purple it's it's similar to a hot pink isn't it but it's more of a purpley tone Let's call it hot purple. So that is painting number two. And then the third one, while it is still a 30 by 40, 
I'm pretty sure this one is a square. Is this heat sealed? Do I have a tear point? No, it's here at the bottom. I can't find it for looking. There's the part where I open it up. So this one too, as I say, is a 30 by 40. No, it's a 30 by 30, apologies. But this one is a square. So it has 20 colours and I can tell by looking at the canvas because this one actually has lines around each part, whereas the round doesn't tend to have lines or if it does, it'll tend to be like a training wheel circle around it. But squares, because you cover the full area, um, it actually has lines. This one has a toolkit with baggies. And it also comes with diamonds in individual bags. So the actual size of this one is 25 by 25, which you can often find a frame that will fit this, or a 30 by 30 frame with a mount will often fit these. But I thought this butterfly was gorgeous. I do like a bit of blue though. I do like some blue. So we have a few different tones in this because the background has sort of got a, not a black and white look to it, but a pastel -y type look. It has got a few colours that you may not think would go in there, but would. So the 3702 is one that springs to mind. It's amazing how different this colour can look depending on what you put it next to. So if you have the 3702, and it's actually next to 842, which, which is 842, next to this beige tone. And then there's a few different colours it goes next to, to be honest. There's lots of different colours. But then 318, which is not that one. Where's the grey? It's not that one either. Oh. There it is. So by the time you mix up all these tones together, you can get quite a different look than if you put this next to some greens, for example. It can look completely different. Uh, so we have a few of those. We have a little bit of 939. Then we have some pops of your brighter blue for the butterfly, 3842 and 820. We've also got some 159 and 161, which have got a little bit of bluey gray tones. Some 3743, that also works into the background, helps with this little mottle effect around here. We've got some beigey colours, a few more greys, and we do have a little pop of green as well that can look black depending on what it's next to. So, and a pop of 550, a little bit of purple mixed in with blue, helps to give it that little bit of pizzazz. Um, but yeah, so sometimes, you know, when you look at the colours, sometimes you can panic and think that they may not turn out right. But I say by mixing in purple with some of the blues, if you look at the colour, that looks blue. But when you actually pull it up, you've got quite a bit of purple, for example, down here. You've also got a little bit of that green down here, around there but it can have a black look from a distance and it can have a blue look from a distance. So you can get a few different looks depending on how you mix them up. So quite often you have to trust the process and be amazed at how they look when you're done. But I will pop links to all of these down below in case any of them have taken your fancy as your next potential diamond painting to do. Um, I don't know what's my favourite. I think they're all quite different this time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I love the colours in this one, but I love the effect of this one finished and I like how different this one is. So, but I like them all. That's why I pick them. I don't pick ones that I don't like. Um, but yeah, I'll pop links down below in case any of them take your fancy. Thank you so much to DIY Choose for letting me choose these to share with you all. And I thank you all so much for watching and supporting this channel. And I'll speak to you all again soon.